Okay, hello guys. So this is the Redmi 9 with the code name is Lancelot. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to overclock your CPU using a custom kernel. Okay, maybe some of you guys that want to enhance your phone for a better performance in gaming, you can use this tutorial. Okay, it will show you how to overclock your CPU so you will have better performance. Okay. Now um, after we overclock it has a 2500 max clock speed. But there is also other custom kernel that you can use for battery saver like social media. Okay, I will describe it in the tutorial. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Ombop Okay, this time I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use custom kernel in Android phone Okay <clears throat> So in here I have a Redmi 9 with the code name is Lancelot And this tutorial, this tutorial can be also applied to the Poco M M2 uh, okay, with the code name is Lava, if I'm not mistaken. I uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Shifa, I mean. Okay, <laughs> and it's it is a unified ROM. It means that <clears throat> let me nine land slot and Poco M two Shifa with the code name is Lava. Okay, so I have uh less a custom ROM in this phone. Okay, I will show you. I'm using the <coughs> Epoch OS, okay, Android 11, and you can see right here the kernel. It's uh, we're using the pizza kernel right here, okay. And then, yeah, okay, okay, I would not show you how to flash custom ROM because I already have a tutorial on how to flash the custom ROM on Redmi 9 okay I will put the link in the description box or in here okay <laughs> uh, first thing I want to show you that <clears throat> this is using the stock kernel from the custom ROM okay let's check from AIDA64 <clears throat> and goes to the CPU okay you can see right here we're using the MediaTek Helio G80 okay and then the clock speed CPU clock range is between 500 and 2000 okay so the max clock is 2000 so if you play in heavy games or other stuff it will be limited to 2000 megahertz okay so this is the clock and then <clears throat> in this tutorial i will show you how to overclock the cpu okay so you will have a better performance uh for gaming and other stuff and of course with a higher clock it means that you got more heat from the pond okay so there is something to be sacrificed <laughs> okay remember cpu clock max is 2000 <clears throat> okay then because we have because we already flashed a custom rom it means that we already have custom recovery so let's go to the Custom recovery. Okay. First thing you want to do is turn off the pawn and uh, let's power it off. And now let's put into the custom recovery. As usual, press the volume up and power button at the same time. 
and hold it about 5 seconds and then release the power button while still press the volume up and you will see a custom recovery okay then okay i will change the brightness so you will get a better view okay the first thing you want to do is always back up the stock kernel so go to the backup option enable compression for a smaller size and select the boot image <coughs> okay so kernel it means that the kernel means that it is a boot image so boot image contain the kernel so let's wipe it it is important to back up the stock kernel because if there is something wrong you can always go to the custom recovery and restore it okay then let's plug the usb cable i want to copy some file okay let's switch the screen just want to show you uh okay where is the kernel uh okay here we go let me nine nine slot you can see right here there is lots of kernel maybe some of you guys have a questions which kernel should i use okay <laughs> so you can check in my blog for the explanation uh, the link i will also put it in the description box okay just go to the ombob.myid and we'll get the explanation <coughs> like this usually there is three type of kernels the first one is performance it's usually for gaming or saving usually for social media and balance okay balance means that power saving and little for gaming okay so there is lots of kernel but i will discover the this one okay the shares i think it is the the best kernel for gaming there is several version you can see right here there is a q and r it means that you should use the version according to your uh, stock rom okay in our pond before i flash this custom rom I'm using the Mu Android 11, so uh, I should use this one or this one, the okay, version one, Air Vendor or version four Air Vendor. If you came from the Android 10 stock ROM, okay, please remember it means that this is from the stock ROM, not the custom ROM. Okay, if you use the from the Android 10 Mu. You should use this one okay this is for gaming uh, this is for social media this is balance it's for daily use and little gaming and other stuff you can read okay <clears throat> okay so we're going to use the share stream the latest one version 4 okay let's copy this one and let's put it in the internal storage okay you can always use a sd card if you have one so let's switch the screen again <coughs> let's swipe it make sure you have already have a backup okay enable compression backup Okay, and then <coughs> go to the install find where you have your kernel so goes to the where is it the download folder and pass your custom kernel okay it's just a simple step after that you can reboot your pawn and that's the performance Okay, reboot system.
Okay, now it start loading to the boot logo. And please remember if there is something wrong, if you mistakenly flash a wrong kernel and the pawn won't boot, you can always restore it. Okay, so let's check the kernel. First thing I want to check is from the Android settings about pawn. <coughs> 111 and you can see right here kernel version is now using this as stream okay version 4 okay now let's go to the ada 64 <clears throat> goes to the cpu and here we go now you can see our max clock is 2500 okay if you remember before we just have a uh, max 2000 and now 2500 okay <clears throat> maybe some of you guys will ask what is the difference as i said before more clock mean better performance but also more hit okay so don't expect you have a better battery with this uh with this kernel okay if you want a uh, social media don't use this kernel is the pizza one okay the link is the description box okay so i won't would not test for a game you should try it yourself okay so, so it will offer clock the cpu and the gpu and you have better performance okay so as always this is a tutorial on how to flash a custom kernel or overclock the CPU clock for gaming performance and I hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and I also have lots video about routing custom ROM and lots of fun okay especially Xiaomi Samsung Realme Asus and other stuff okay uh, you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum